evening or afternoon, we are going to start our new unit called European Exploration and Colonization, Discovery and Colonization of the New World. So we are looking around the 1300s to the 1600s and into the early 1700s um, in world history. We're going to look at how Europeans came from Europe to North America and South America and how they set up their colonies and how they uh, basically took over North America. As we learned in the past, the people that were here already are, um, are Native Americans, or were Native Americans. They came from Asia. They spent about 20 to 30,000 years creating their uh, cultures here, their tribes, their civilizations. Some created their empires, and then quickly in only a few years, a couple of centuries, uh, Europeans wiped all of that out and brought their own culture here to North America. So open up your packet to page number four, it looks like, and let's begin our notes. All right, Europe in the year 1000. So that's 1000 AD. Uh, Europe was dominated by three countries, England and France and Spain. Those three countries had most of the power in Europe. Uh, what they said went, and they battled between each other to uh, have that power among all the people in, in Europe. Uh, in 1095, there was this event called the Crusades, and the Crusades was a huge war that uh, took place over in the Middle East. And let's see, on this page you can see the Middle East is over here, Israel, Palestine, the Holy Land. And this war was a battle between two religions, Christianity and Islam. And so a majority of people in Europe were Christians. They were Catholics, uh, that flavor of Christianity. They were Catholic. And then the majority of people down here in the Middle East, in the Holy Land, were Muslims. They followed the religion of Islam. So they battled over control of land, which is what most people usually end up fighting over. And um, so the Christians were called up by the Pope, Urban II, and they were told to go and fight in the Holy Land to uh, win back control of the Holy Land from the Muslims. Now, the big thing that you need to pay attention to is that when the Crusaders came home, they're at number three, when the Crusaders came home, they brought goods and luxuries from the Middle East. They brought spices, silks, different kinds of food that Europeans had never had before. Because back in 1000 AD, people didn't really travel very far. Many, most people just died um, not being more than five miles from their house. So to go thousands of miles to the Holy Land was a huge feat, a huge accomplishment for these people, and it brought them into contact with an amazing new uh, or different culture in the Middle East. All right, Europeans, they wanted these goods. They wanted them bad, just like you and I want our uh, iPods and we want our whatever else there is, those uh, Xboxes and new computers. They want them. But think about where are all those things made? Well, they're made over in China or they're made in Japan or the other side of the world. And so people have to go and get those goods. Now, uh, this whole unit, European exploration and colonization, it's all about goods. It's all about money and uh, expanding power. So, uh, you have there for your notes, Europeans wanted goods such as spices, foods, cotton, and silk from Asia, India, and China. And European kings and queens, they wanted to have a faster trip. They wanted a faster route to Asia so that they could get these goods. And uh, the fastest way to travel to India and China was, first we thought it was by, well, Europeans thought that it was by land. So some people, they would walk, or they'd take uh, caravans, they'd ride camels, they'd ride whatever they could, 3,000 miles. Then people got smart, and they started, well, they started thinking about how to get there faster. It wasn't about being smart or not. But uh, they started to take ships from Europe to Asia. And what's interesting is the way that they fi figured out how to get there. All right, um, well, let's go back here. Take a look at some of these uh, goods that Europeans wanted. They wanted oranges, lemons, silk, limes, 
pepper, cotton, cinnamon, saffron, ginger. Think about all of these things, uh, these goods. Have you eaten them? Have you had them? Chances are they were not grown next door. They were not grown here in upstate New York because the climate of upstate New York is way too cold. So instead, it was the, all of these things are grown where it's nicer, where it's warmer, and where the temperature, where the climate allows it. Okay.